Hi everyone and welcome back to Matt's Crazy Tiki Garden. Not, how are you Mark? Yeah, I'm very good, how are you? Yeah, not bad, cheers, not bad. Yeah, <laughs> not, not quite so crazy ticky on this side. No, we probably should have said this is an entirely unplanned, impromptu video, but today we're sharing the garden that's at the other side of Mark's house. This is the east wing, isn't it Mark, really? Yeah, this is the servants' <laughs> yeah. quarters. Indeed, and behind us is a massive expanse of grass, ripe for potential, there's so much opportunity here. Hold Why on a second. We... Oh. <laughs> I'm not allowed to do anything with this side. Uh, apparently my children want to have the lawn. Um, somewhere to play football or something oh, like that. I don't know, they don't need that, do they? They just need more tropical vibes. I agree. Yes. Well, today we're here, very quick video, and I want to share with you two of Mark's projects. One of which answers a lot of your questions about how to design, build, plant up a border. A few of his specific practical questions about space in a plants and really handy under planting choices. The second one will absolutely blow your mind. It really is just such an incredible opportunity. Let's show the Mark. Let's go. So, Mark is one of those lucky people who can work from home, and this is gonna be your office, isn't it? It is my office, That's yeah. Beauty, and I've that. been working there for about seven or eight months, and I wanted to landscape around it yeah. so that it becomes a bit more part of you know what I enjoy which is the gardening side of things. Definitely people reach out to me wanting sort of practical you know low budget take home tips uh, definitely having a cabin <laughs> the size of this yeah with a hot tub for the, all the hard work you do. Absolutely yes. well you've got, <laughs> got to relax. Well, you do. I did contact George with the yeah. idea of saying I have this little space next to the office which I want to plant up. Yeah do you want to do something with it? And George obviously said, oh yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> yeah, you've, so, you've um, here. Yeah, got the, got the tone in. So basically the plan is that um, where George is stood currently is where we'll need to be able to reverse cars. This is gonna be hard standing. Yeah. And then this is a little strip down to where I've got some storage back here. Yeah. But this corner area is ripe for being planted up. Yes. There's gonna be a driveway go down the back eventually, more yeah. of a nod to that in a bit. Yes. But this area essentially is about seven meters that way, six meters that way, eight meters this way. I'm sure you can do a bit of Pythagoras theorem and work no, out the, uh, the, the space. But in here is all going to be plantable space. Yeah. We've got the conifers behind, We've got the trees, it's a north facing aspect. Yeah, so, so south is directly behind you there, directly isn't it? Directly behind me. Yeah, so we've, we've got quite a bit of tree cover, which yeah. we'll address shortly. So this space is gonna lend itself, I think, to kind of tree ferns, fatsias, yeah. ferns, that sort of thing. But I'm looking for some ideas on what I can do with it. Yeah. Whether it's a really densely packed Yes. Evergreen space, whether we have some palms in here. What, you know. I think there'll definitely be palms in there, won't I they? I think there'll have to be. Yes. But what palms and where do we put them? And, you know, yeah. how do we space it out? So I had this, um, this metal frame constructed, so it's raised up. I was quite conscious that the conifers and the tree roots are going to suck a lot of moisture out of this yeah. soil. So this is gonna get built up and then we're gonna fill it full of compost. I think I've mentioned before, I'm very fortunate. There's a guy down the road who yeah, basically yeah. makes his own compost and he delivers it to me for free. Handy, isn't it? Yes. Um, as much as I want. So this is gonna get filled up. These are 40 centimeters deep. So they're gonna get filled to the brim and then that is gonna be the planting depth. We're gonna rotivate the yeah. bottom a bit to allow some drainage and everything can mix all together. So this is definitely by a considerable margin, the smaller of your two projects, but I did actually recently ask on my YouTube, on the community page, ideas for the channel for this year, things that you guys want to see. And one of them was basically how to plant up a border, how to position plants. So this is the perfect opportunity to share the journey of a border from muddy ground to hopefully a lush and overflowing tropical paradise. Yeah, you may not be starting off with a steel border. You can have this, I had this made by a local steel merchant. You can get this done and you can create different shapes, different textures. Yeah. So it is achievable, but what we do with this space, I'm looking for some input on. Yeah, definitely. And um, we will be doing a series 
probably a first part of looking at the area once it's actually built up and filled with compost, planning it out roughly. We'll maybe have a couple of plant shopping trips filmed. Yes, there we go, the plant shopping dance. I'm <laughs> that is the plant shopping dance. I'm not going to do anything have, with that. I have yet. several dances. Yes. I won't show you the others. I don't want to see the others. I have to be sure. naked for one of them. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not doing that today. Later. <laughs> so there will be a, a series of maybe popping out and you know, choosing some appropriate plants and some entirely inappropriate plants to give a go. Absolutely. And then we'll also pop back later in the season to see how the beds coming together and really the results you can achieve in a year uh, well by the end of the season so less than a year yeah but anyway people are asking in the droves mark what is the big project so the big project is down this hill um i should say this is basically like disney world if you know if you're into cartoon mice this is the equivalent for gardeners isn't it i suppose so so this is my little patch of land look at this just show people, Mark, what land's yours. Uh, all of it. All of it. <laughs> yeah. Everything you can see up to that green fence, which is probably about seven miles away. Isn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> it, like it's a substantial plot. It's three acres um, of combined woodland and grassland. We've had this created. Eventually, this is going to be a driveway. I yeah. do quite like classic cars as well. So we're popping down. Yeah, watch your watch your step, George. I know, I know, I know. You don't like. Uh, if I fall over, it's definitely staying in the video. Don't worry. Well, it would certainly make good TV. I feel in some ways that this a project like this deserves a, a higher quality of video for beginning. But I really wanted to show people what things are like at this stage. It's obviously in its infancy um, yeah. at the moment. There's an awful lot of stuff that needs to be done. But oh, definitely. This area is screaming out for shefflerers. It's screaming out for bamboos. It's screaming out for grasses and really lush evergreen foliage. It's absolutely super, um, isn't it? With a sort of tree overhead cover there. Yeah. Nice and, and damp down there, presumably. There's an awful lot of stuff that needs cutting back. Um, there's a lot of really spindly trees. There's quite a lot of diseased sycamores and there's some ash dieback. So yeah. we really need to get in there and cut a lot back and. So, so for everyone who thought your main garden or the tiki garden is a big old project, this is next level big, this isn't is it? This is next level. This is almost insurmountable big, <laughs> but unfortunately, it's uh, my cross to bear is that I just... I Don't start to... talking about crosses. This is well, yeah, an amazing no, no, no. opportunity. No, it's, not e it's not Easter yet. There's going to be a lot of work just involved in getting the site cleared. Yeah. I mean, wow. So this is kind of a... It's a natural spring. Oh, um, obviously. <laughs> off the back of the house. And so... We've had some trees chopped down already. Yeah. Um, my natural thought process in here is to try and keep it quite easy, quite low maintenance, Japanesey style. Planted to create a certain effect whilst leaving a lot of the sort of native trees here. Is yeah, that the I mean, plan? We, spoke, yeah. we spoke about it before. I, yeah. I, I'm not intending on getting rid of all the trees by no, any no. stretch, but we do want to dig the pond out. We do want to get some fish in there, some natural, wow. you know, tench, carp just deepen it down, get yeah. some of the stuff out, build the banks up a bit, and then we'll create some pathways, we'll create a little seating area, we'll fill it with hopefully natural ferns, um, native ferns, sorry. Yeah, um, I mean, a project this side, you can't go all exotics, you can't have all sort of high maintenance plants. But... I mean, it would be lovely to, <laughs> yeah. um, it would be lovely to, but ultimately, if I can get some natural stuff, divide them, yeah. start small and then build up, then... Like I say, lots of native ferns Absolutely. and plants like that that you can spread around that will just happily do the thing. These trees that are covered in ivy, they're going to have to come out. Yeah. Um, they're close other, to your house, aren't they, up there? Yeah, they're so. close to the house and yeah. they're also, they are diseased anyway. So yeah. we need to get someone around to come and cut them down. I'll be, I'll have enough firewood until I die, probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we, we've, we're waiting currently for um, planning permission to be granted. The company that used to own the land, they are going to level it all for me. All of this down the back. There's a tree wow. over here and it banks up a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That's, that's, up, that's the extent of what I own. Wow. <laughs> and it's a great big triangle. It encompasses the woodland as well. Um, and yeah, it's the, the, the only... This is pretty incredible. The only prerequisites so far are we want a polytunnel to grow some tomatoes. I yep. want a garage to hold some man toys. Um, <laughs> we won't dig deeper into that. We're going to have... Yeah, no, no, no. They, they, well, they'd have to be big, but... Yeah. And some bees. Um, yeah. So, you know, so far, relatively... Relatively 
small aspirations, obviously, um, but it seems, wow. it seems quite insurmountable at the moment. But I think once we get going and filling in with small plants and just letting them grow, I mean, certainly my journey with the um, actual garden from the side of the house yeah. has shown me already in the last three or four years just how quickly these plants can grow. Definitely. Getting on with it, getting some stuff in the ground, and just seeing how things go. I, I, obviously, we need to sort power. We need to sort irrigation. Yeah. Um, so, so this isn't going to be a quick project. I, I would say it's going to have to be at least over the next 10 years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is just a slice of, you know, the dream, isn't it? The aspirations. You're not going to plant everything up, but you, I like the way you're sort of working with the space. So where it's already quite woodland, you know, tree cover, you are going to plant more sort of plants that enjoy that. Again, over there, we're going to have more Aurelias, unusual Asian plants, aren't we? Evergreens in there. It's a, it's yeah. a perfect example. I, I, there's a phrase that I came up with a few years ago. D I did you come up with it? Did I come up with it or was it a I, phrase already? I think Beth Chateau's lawyers are actually on the phone as we speak. Oh, <laughs> best be careful. <laughs> yeah. um, I think it is a case of putting the right plants in the right place. Something um, like that, yeah. And so if you've got a natural woodland that's there already, put flipping woodland plants in it you know yes. you don't have to you know you're not going to put sun loving uh, palm trees in there no. if it's really deep heavy shade um in exactly the same way that if you have what i would say is a really oriental looking japanesey moss covered woodland then you keep it quite simple and straightforward and you put some stuff in there that can that can live with that no this, this is really incredible and i'm very aware this is a very amateurish video with me just basically going wow and this is amazing but it really is so just to summarize to people your house is up there the it tiki is. garden is that side you're going to have an entrance down this ramp here yeah that side there you're thinking a pond and then we'll say more damp boggy planting what yes. with a, a oriental asian edge or well, maybe some gunnera manicata if i can find it on the black market well i definitely don't have any for you mark you wouldn't recommend that no i definitely wouldn't no your face is going out of focus because it i think it detects that there's illegal content being made <laughs> don't <laughs> blur, blur me out quickly yes yes yeah, so, um definitely don't have any gunner for you but looking over that side there that's going to be a sort of mixed woodland we'll say with an exciting edge that's a good way of we'll, putting we'll, it we'll call it that's that. a tagline for the video it is indeed we'll, we'll see and then this area here you've got all sorts planned they say polytunnel growing some palms a bit of everything but i can tell by you know this is obviously hardcore and uh crushed gravel isn't it so there's a lot of work getting everything ready oh god yeah. a lot of work yeah wow this really is amazing and if people aren't truly sort of taken over by this idea yet let's have a look at that pond from the top and really show them the view that you're going to create here sounds good let's have a look down here this is going to be the view isn't it yeah, so this little area at the top here, this needs to be some low-lying ground cover yeah, type things. To make the most of, of to that. To make the most of the view, yeah. I mean, that is, it's going to be just insane, isn't it? I, I hope so. Uh, like I say, the plan is to get it all dug out so it's a bit deeper. Yeah. Clear up all the builder's mess and what have you that was, you know, um, kind of thoughtlessly thrown down there before we I mean, bought the house 10 years ago yes. unfortunately i mean to me this this almost has that sort of you know cornwall vibe but heligan treba they're all in valleys you know you're looking down a lot of the time plants like tree ferns gunner just look so incredible from above don't they yeah and, I, and as much as i'd love to have as many tree ferns as they have e yeah um with modern prices i think yeah, it's probably happen, unlikely um but, but even yeah, large it, ground ferns like the north american ferns some himalayan ferns that would look you know as impressive from up here wouldn't i'd they? love to be able to put two or three really big chunky tree ferns down there and yep. lots of lots of underplanting to just give yeah even just the vibe a few really poignantly planted bamboos poignant poignant yeah, yeah. i was struggling yeah, to does think that mean them. you're gonna plant them whilst crying <laughs> <laughs> it's not the gist of that. I mean, I will be crying with <laughs> yeah. the amount of uh, work it's going to yeah. be, but putting some, you know, really key specimen plants in the right place, yeah, just to get the vibe. But I'm, I mean, I'm already crying at the amount of walking I'm going to have to do up and up and down that flipping slope just yeah. to get everything where it say, needs to be. You are be. looking lean and mean already, so By the time you've done this, it'll be full on eight pack on Definitely the go. Definitely looking it? mean anyway. But um, yeah, no, I think it's. I've been thinking about it for years. Like I say, we've 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 had the house for ten years, yeah. and I've you know I've always wanted to do something with it. And 
I've got more time now, suddenly getting to the stage where we are able to do something with it. And this really is a... I don't want to use the word legacy, but this is a big project, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I big think my, my kids are going to hate me for it when they <laughs> yeah. have to look after it one day. Yeah, when they have to get about 100 contracts in to remove the bamboo. To, yeah, everything to cut everything, everything down, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as my yeah. wife doesn't sell my pan, my plants for what I told her they cost, I'll be happy. Or your pants even. Pants even, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so really, today's video is just pretty much, you know, I'm here for about an hour, where just got the camera out, showing people this amazing opportunity. But to me, I mean, there's just so much potential here, isn't there? So much. And I know you spoke about having a oriental edge, you know, a lot of the bamboos and things over here, but you really could grow anything in this place. You've got the damp areas, you've got the full on wet areas, you've got the drier, sunny areas out there. I mean, there must just be ideas buzzing around your head. It's, it, I mean, I struggle to sleep at the best of times, but. Well, that's just because of the things that you've done. But. Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but yes, but, there's but a lot when, of ideas when, going around as well. When you consider, like, I mean, I. One of the reasons, I think I've touched on it before, one of the yeah. reasons that I do the tropical garden and one of the reasons I like to be outside is because I do have a relatively anxious brain. Yeah. And so if you coincide an anxious brain with the untapped potential of this yes. space and what I could possibly do with it, yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it, it, it needs a little bit of harnessing and bringing it back It needs in. an outlet, doesn't it? And yeah. you're not going to get a better outlet than this. My mind is absolutely blown. I suppose the next thing is, Matt's Crazy Tiki Garden, as much as people see that name and they like the videos, we're going to have to come up with a different title, aren't we, for this project? Yeah, well, I think that's going to have to be something suggested in the comments, really. Well, everyone get commenting. This, this honestly is just amazing, and thank you for this quick look around at this early stage. Like we said, there's not going to be any quick progress. There's a, a lot of work, getting things cleared, getting things ready, and there's going to be tons and tons of material, like hundreds of tons of materials, isn't there? Well, just make but, sure next time you come, you bring your shovel, George. Yes. It'd be good to see you do some work. Yeah, I'll bring. Oh, oh, I'll bring Harriet with her shovel. She can get on with it, catchy. Um, but this, wow. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to come back. I'm excited to see what it's going to like soon. But for now, Mark, thank you very much for giving us a little glimpse into your privileged future. <laughs> Thanks very much. You're welcome. <laughs>